It's been a little while, but welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Today, a brand new update for GT7 came out and it included some very spicy things. First two cars in Asia were heading off to Japan and into Subaru. One of my favorite Subarus ever, the 2004 Subaru STI is finally here. If you've ever wanted to be a 16-year-old boy racer who vapes out the window 24-7, this is the car for you. We've also got a new Mitsubishi, apparently. Is it not under the Mitsubishi brand? It's the- oh my god, it's expensive. The Mitsubishi Evo 3 has also arrived in Gran Turismo. That thing's kind of expensive, no? I don't know what one of these costs in real life, so may maybe it's accurate. I don't know. If you thought that was expensive, Buckle in. Welcome to Aston Martin and none other than the Aston Martin Valkyrie. Oh my god. Four million bucks for the thing. And this is what I wanted to check out today. Let's do it. Let's just, just rip the band-aid off. Just rip the band-aid off. Four million credits. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the garage. Yeah, you don't say that gives me a lot of car collector points. We're gonna try out our Aston Martin bone stock to see what it's like, and then we'll come and do some customization to see what options we've got. I don't know if it's gonna have like some engine swaps, maybe a little bit of performance stuff. I, I'm not really sure. Even though we're playing Gran Turismo, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about Aston Martin's ridiculous ridiculous hypercar. Aston Martin and Red Bull actually have been working on this thing for the past almost 10 years actually. I actually got to see one of these at the Canadian Car Show back in 2017 when it was previously called the Red Bull AMR 001 or something like that. The whole idea for this thing back in the day was for it to race at Le Mans and do this. Aston Martin was going to build like a proper hypercar version and race it in Le Mans and do like proper races against like all of the other stuff that's out there. Aston Martin was trying to build this thing to be like the road legal version of their Le Mans hypercar. Long story short, all you need to know is they ended up killing off their Le Mans hypercar program, but kept this thing around because they had put so much time and development and money into the thing. Aston Martin's only making 150 of them. If you want one, lol JK, they're already sold out and they cost 3.2 mil. Lucky news though, because Aston Martin's also making an AMR Pro version of it. They're only making 25 versions of those. They cost 4 million bucks. And unfortunately, they are all sold out as well. I'm not doing a good job showcasing it. Although it might look like a race car, this is a road car. And that's one of the most terrifying things I have ever heard. Instead of normal seat belts, it's got a four point harness. Instead of wing mirrors, it actually has little cameras in it. So even though it's road legal, it's only road legal in Europe. One of the other things all like road legal cars have to have is like a little medical kit in them with like bandages and so on and so forth. However, the problem with the Aston Martin Valkyrie is it's such a small car and every bit of space inside it is used by either the driver, the passenger, or the 6.5 liter V12. But Aston Martin still needs like a little medical thing in there. So they actually decided to hide it behind the front license plate. In real life, you can like open the front license plate up and there's your little medical kit, which is pretty cool. It's one of those cars that was simply made because they could. And I like that. I wish more companies were just like, eh, let's give it a go and see what happens. It's a terrible car if you actually want to drive it on the road but it's so cool. And across the line. Very nice. <laughs> That's a fantastic car. A ridiculous car, but a fantastic, it's had an accident. This is gonna be so sketchy. I have no idea what we're gonna be able to do with it. You know what? Let's start it off with just like some basic car customization and then we can do some other things after. So we can actually swap the wheels on it. Maybe we want to go with like some fancy BBS wheels. Those could look really good. There are no customization parts, no racing parts, 
We do have some other parts. So we could swap our headlight color. Okay. If we're gonna actually turn this thing into like a Le Mans car, I guess we can go yellow headlights. No front grille. We can't even paint our brake calipers. We'll come back to our livery in a second. Okay. There are no wide bodies. There are no engine swaps. Why is all of chat calling this a John Deere? Everything's gonna be on semi-racing or racing parts probably. Maybe even extreme parts. Okay. A new new body is 4.8 mil? A new body is more expensive than the actual car? I guess I can actually go for these carbon ceramic brakes. It doesn't change my PP, but... I'm gonna toss them on. You know what? I'm gonna go for fully customizable suspension. That's gonna be worth it. 24,000 for that. And we can get racing hard, soft, and everything. I'm gonna get some soft. Now our PP's going right the way up. What did he say? Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. We're triple eight on the PP. We could buy an upgraded transmission. That technically brings our PP down a little bit. We'll go for that. This thing in real life is a 6.5 liter V12. Naturally aspirated. So no way we could toss a turbocharger on. So if we get that on, our horsepower goes from 1,100 to 1,400 horsepower. That's insane. And then I'm pretty sure we can come in here, get our racing intercooler. That's gonna give us a little bit extra horsepower as well. I definitely don't need steering angle. I definitely don't need a hydraulic handbrake. I wish I could get NOS, but I can't. I think that's it. I think that's everything we've got. We've got nearly 1,500 horsepower now. It's our Aston Martin wannabe AMR Pro. That was my bad. I jumped the start. Ready? Five red lights. And away we go. Oh my god, that GTR. Wow. Okay, I need hor I need I need top speed. That was insane. That GTR just launches. It was a lot of wheel spin. I think I can try to get rid of some of my wheel spin. But that is a That's a bronze. So L3 is my overtake button. If I can get a good launch, we can get this. Terrible launch. Terrible launch. Come on. Reel him in. Reel him in. Come on. Get him. Getting him. Gaining. 215. 220. We got him, baby. Gold medal. Let's go. Even with the world's worst start, that is fast. I wonder what we could do in terms of like top speed. We are now horsepower limited, 245 miles an hour without the battery. Get the battery on. There's 250. In real life, bone stock, this thing can do 250. So I'm surprised it's actually kind of struggling with that. Using all the battery, 256. Come on, give me one more. 257. 257. That's our max. For a car that's designed to go around corners as quickly as possible, it's really impressive that that thing's even able to do anywhere near 250. Oh, I got a boat. I'm gonna let you choose where we race. Where do we go? Nurburgring? Chat wants me to drive the Nurburgring? Are you kidding? Of course you guys make me drive around this circuit. Like, of all places. Yeah, let's just get dropped in with our ridiculous race car on the most ridiculous racing circuit and see what it can do. I, I truly don't know what it's going to be able to do. Keep in mind, I'm having to dodge traffic everywhere, so it's not going to be a super representative time. Bro, why? Why? Why would you weave in front of me like that? Okay, break in, go. Jeez, that's 200 miles an hour right there. Send it through there. Beautiful break early, early, early. Wow. I think the AI is more so just kind of getting in my way right now. The AI just takes up the entire circuit. Around the outside, try to sneak past. Move! Thank you. It's nice when the characters can actually hear you yelling. Okay, get ready. And oh my god, what is that Valkyrie doing? Beautiful. Don't, don't stop weaving. Stop indicating. Why are they indicating and moving all over the road? 
Jeez, this thing is fast. Oh, stop! Why would you cut in front of somebody like that? Wow. All right, well, we got up to first place in the first three minutes. That's pretty impressive. Here we go, and up the hill. Oh, wow. Even though it's got just silly amounts of grip, at the end of the day, you're doing 100 miles an hour around every single corner, and that's scary. No matter how much grip you have. See? All right, we got around. We haven't... Oh, no, no! Hold it. Oh, my God. Kind of held. Kind of held. Okay, go. I can't believe I spun on the straight of all places to spin. Are you kidding me? That was an awful lap, and I was trying to cut through traffic, and I got a 7.30, or 6.30, sorry. It might be absurdly expensive, but it's so much fun.